good morning, good morning everyone, good morning everyone, good morning my lovers in the world, thank you very much for your subscribing, thank you very much for your like, thank you very much for your sharing, thank you, I appreciate you all for your effort, for your love, for, for your support. Good morning everyone, today I'm going to show you how I do my feet. I'm going to do fish throw today. I'm going to show you how I do my fish throw. There are different kind of way. Everybody do their fish throw. You can do it whatever, any way you want to do. But today I'm going to show you how I do mine. Okay, my lovely ones. Okay, let me show you the ingredients I'm going to use today. I have mangrove fish here. You can see. Scubian fish, mangro fish, I have it here. I have my vegetable oil, I have my curry, as you can see, I have my salt and sugar. I have one egg and onions and uh, bricky powder. Those are my flour I'm going to use today. I have nutmeg, I have maggi, I have thyme here. And butter and you can see it I have my olive oil here there. these are ingredients I'm going to use today I have water some water there I'm going to use this is our ingredients I'm going to use for my fish troll now I'm going to add put my macro fish inside the pot to boil it now I'm adding some water on it as you can see it, I'm adding some water. Now I'm going to add the ingredients, everything inside. Now I'm adding my salt. I'm going to add the curry now. I'm going to add mangin on it. You can see it. I'm adding my cheesy kill. You can see now. I'm going to put my thyme. I'm adding the thyme. I'm stirring it together. I'm going to stir it. Mix everything together so that everything will be wet inside. Now I'm going to add my happy onions on it. Now my fish is already boiled. I'm going to remove the bone away from the fish now because bone is inside I'm going to re remove every bone out away from the feet before I will start mashing it with the honey steak as you can see I'm still removing the bone because there are too much of bone inside I have to remove everything away from inside because of the children so that the bone will not go and enter the throat have to remove the bowl anytime you are doing it like that you have to remove everything away from inside as you can see I'm doing it here I'm just removing all the old bone every bone out away from inside I'm going to remove the earth away Can see, do you see the bow I remove from it? See it now. I'm going to mash the fish as you can see. I'm going to mash it now. I'm going to do it together so that it will become little. As you can see, I'm doing it one step by step.
I'm just using only fish, only my fish. I did not put any sardine on it. I'm just using only my, my scorpion fish, as you can see. It. Now I've already finished mashing my macro fish. That is how it will look like after you finish mashing it. You can see it on the plate. You see how it look like? That is it. Now I'm going to put the pan in the fire now. Before we add, now I'm going to add my vegetable oil inside the pan. As you can see, before it will hurt a little bit, I will go and chop in my onions. Now I'm going to do you see how it look like? That is how it's going to look like after machine it. Now I'm adding inside the whole air. Now I'm stirring it together as you can see it. I'm stirring it together now. I'm going to add some a little time on it. I'm adding a little curry on it. I'm adding a little salt. I'm still add now I'm going to add my mangin on it. I'm going to add my flour into my bowl. I'm going to put the two uh, into the bowl now. Next, I'm going to add I'm going to add my breaking powder inside the inside the flour. Next, I'm going to add my sugar inside now. Next, I'm going to put a little salt. And I'm going to add my butter. Now I stir it together. So that I, I can turn the rest ingredient inside to mix it. Now I'm going to add my egg. I'm going to add my olive oil. I'm using olive oil. I'm going to use the olive oil to mix it now. I'm stirring it together. As you can see, I'm just stirring it together. You see how the flower will look like after mix everything on it. That is how it will look like when you are looking it on your hand. You see it? Yes. Now I'm going to add some water on it.
Now when you have done, now I'm going to cover it with the plastic film. As you can see, I'm going to cover it with the plastic film to rest about 20 minutes before I will start cutting the dough. Next, I'm going to put my flour in wall surface. Now I'm going to mash my dough. You can see I'm going to mash it a little bit before I start cutting it. As you can see the dough, no? I'm going to cut it into four parts. You can cut it according to the part you want, but now I'm going to cut it into four parts and the other part I'm going to cut it into, into two parts now before I start rolling the dough. As you can see, I'm rolling the dough now. Before I start cutting it, I will, start, I will roll the dough first before I will pull the filling. I will trim the excess away. If it's too big, you can trim the excess away. You cut it according to your size, according to the way you want it. But my, I don't want it too big. That's why I'm cutting it a little bit. A little bit you can see it you see how it look like that is supposed to be now I'm going to have the feeling after having the feeling I'm going to roll the dough Now I'm going to cover it on the side so that the filling will not out when you are frying it inside the oil. I'm going to roll it step by step as you can see it. Now I forgot you can put a little water to cover it so that it, it may still wear. Depends how you want to, you may cover it like that, but my, I'm putting a little water on the edge just to cover it more saving. You see, the side is very covering. You see, it, you are not seeing the filling inside. Now I'm going to do the second one like that. Yes, you roll it before you start cutting it or before you start pulling the filling. If it's too big, you can, you can cut away at the excess with the one you don't need. If it's too big, you cut it, cut it according to the way you want it. Now you see the way I'm wrapping it. You can just wrap it at the way you want. Now I'm, I'm going to add a little water on the edge here to cover it properly. You can see it. I'm um, doing it. You can still do yours like that. You can do it the way you want. You see it? Because I don't like mine to too big. I don't want it to too big. You see it? Yes, that is the way I want it. You can still do it too big if you want it too big the way you want it. Now I'm going to cut the third part of it. You will see I'm going to roll. Now you can see I'm unrolling the dough. You can roll it gently. The way you want it, you see. That is how I'm going to roll it. Now I'm going to have the filling. Now I'm going to cover it. To cover it gently. And the side you have to cover it. the way I'm rolling it I'm going to put a little water on the edge to seize it more so 
so that it will cover more See, so that it will not open in, inside the oil it will not be saved now I'm rolling the dough now you can see how the dough will look like Do you see it is very smooth that is dough is very beautiful you see it that is supposed to be when you roll it and when you miss it very well it will be very smooth now I'm going to add my filling before I will start rolling it I want to put more yes I'm putting more so that you may reach now I'm going to roll the dough Cover it as the side, uh, the way I'm doing it before. You see, it is starting the way I'm doing it. Now you cover it and start rolling. You see, now you put water in the head so that you use it to cover it more better. As you can see, you see how it's very smooth. Now you can see how the fish trays look like. This is some of the fish roll I roll. You can see it. Now I've already put my oil in the pan. I'm going to lose the temperature of the oil if it's hot. You can see it's not yet too hot. I'm just waiting for a little bit to make for the oil to hot before I start frying the fish roll. You can see the dough I throw inside. You see I is doing now. It's cutting a little bit now. Now I'm going to dip my dough inside the hoyer. You can see you have to lower your gas on the media heat. Now I'm going to turn it. On the other side so that the side the other side will not be burning you can see now it started brown yes as you can see my fish throw have already done I'm going to remove it from the oil and put it on the plate you can see it is very done and it's very brown I'm going to remove everything and put it on the plate I'm going to put it the second time I'm going to fry it the second time now as you can see I'm putting the fish straw inside the oil now you can fry it on a media heat always don't let your gas too high fry it on a media heat As you can see, my fish crawl is already ready. You can see it on the plate. Yeah, I'm going to test it. Yum, yum.